sets this is a rose flower this is a bouquet of rose flowers or a collection of rose flowers this is a comic book these are a bundle of comic books or a collection of comic books this is a student painting a canvas this is a group of students painting a canvas or we can say a collection of students painting a canvas in mathematics a collection of particular things or group of particular objects is called a set the theory of sets as developed by a german mathematician called george cantor according to him a set is a well defined collection of non repetitive objects well defined well defined means it must be absolutely clear that which object belongs to the set and which does not for example a collection of singers of class 6 is a set a collection of good singers of class 6 is not a set because good is an adjective and in this case there is no definite rule to assess the word good to some a singer may be good to some he may not be some examples of well defined sets one the collection of vowels in english alphabets this set contains five elements namely a e i o u two a collection of red flowers is a set because every red flower will be included in this set that is the objects of the set are well defined three the collection of past presidents of india is a set non repetitive take the set of letters in the word science it can be written as s c i e n within curly brackets if the letter c should not be repeated in the set let's take one more example take the set of letters in the word malayalam it should be written as m a l y within curly brackets though there are nine letters in this word only m a l y is taken others are just the repetition of the same letters remember one a set is a collection of well defined and non repetitive objects two the letters can be written in any order three the letters cannot be repetitive set notation sets are always represented in capital letters like a b c d and so on for example a is equal to 1 2 3 4 the objects of a set are called its elements or members the elements are denoted by small letters like x y z etc the elements are enclosed by curly brackets as shown on the screen for example 1 2 3 4 are elements of set a then set a will be represented as a equal to 1 2 3 4 within curly brackets the symbol shown in the screen is used for is an element of or belongs to a set the symbol shown on the screen is used for is not an element of or does not belong to consider a set which is equal to a b c d within curly brackets we can say that b is an element of x as shown in the screen we can also say that i is not an element of x as shown in the screen representation of a set sets can be represented in the following methods 1 description method 2 roster method or tabular method 3 rule method or set builder form description method in this method the elements of a set are well described and the description is enclosed in curly brackets for example a is equal to the months of a year in curly brackets b is equal to the names of students of class 6 c in curly brackets roster method or tabular form in this method the elements of a set are listed within curly brackets and separated by commas 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्स इज इक्वल टू एप्रिल मे जून जुलाई विद इन कर्ली ब्रैकेट्स वाई इज इक्वल टू टू फोर सिक्स एट टेन विद इन कर्ली ब्रैकेट्स रूल मेथड और सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म इन दिस मेथड अ वेरिएबल से एक्स इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट एनी एलिमेंट ऑफ अ सेट फॉलोड बाय अ प्रॉपर्टी सैटिस्फाइड बाय ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ द सेट एंड इज इनक्लोज इन कर्ली ब्रैकेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए इज इक्वल टू एक्स सच दैट एक्स इज अ वाल ऑफ इंग्लिश एल्फाबेट बी इज इक्वल टू वाई सच दैट वाई इज अ डे ऑफ अ वीक सिम्बल्स स्लैश एंड कोलन denotes such that different types of sets sets are classified according to the elements they contain some sets may have limited number of elements some sets may have unlimited number of elements some sets may have no elements there are three different types of sets infinite sets finite sets empty set or null set singleton infinite sets let us understand each of these one by one infinite sets a set is said to be infinite set if it has unlimited number of elements for example set of natural numbers n is equal to within curly brackets 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on set of whole numbers w is equal to within curly brackets 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on in both the examples we see that the elements are infinite that is the number of elements are not fixed so set n and set w are infinite sets finite set a set is said to be finite set if the number of elements can be determined some of the finite sets are m is equal to students in your class within curly brackets n is equal to the alphabets of english language within curly brackets cardinal number of a set the number of distinct elements present in a finite set is called the cardinal number of the set in a set a it is denoted by n bracket a if a is equal to a e i o u within curly brackets then n of a is equal to 5 if b is equal to the letters in the word student then n of b is equal to 7 empty set a set containing no elements is called an empty set or a null set the symbol of empty set is a empty curly brackets or the symbol shown on the screen the cardinal number of empty set is 0 some examples a set of squares with five sides let us name the set x x is equal to squares with five sides in curly brackets n of x is 0 a set of dogs with six legs let us name the set y y is equal to dogs with six legs in curly brackets y is equal to dogs with six legs in curly brackets n of y is equal to 0 singleton set a set containing only one element is called a singleton set some examples a is equal to 8 n of a is equal to 1 p is equal to q n of p is equal to 1 equivalent set two sets are equivalent if they have the same number of elements for example if f is equal to 2 4 6 8 10 brackets and g is equal to 10 12 18 20 22 curly brackets then n of f is equal to n of g is equal to 5 that is set f and g are equivalent equal set two sets are equal 
if they both have the same numbers. Example, if f is equal to 20, 60, 80 and g is equal to 80, 60, 20, then f is equal to g, that is both sets are equal. Remember, the order in which the members of a set are written does not matter. Two infinite sets are equivalent. Equal sets are always equivalent, but equivalent sets may or may not be equal. Disjoint set. Two sets A and B are said to be disjoint if they do not have any element in common. For example, A is equal to X such that X is a prime number within curly brackets. B is equal to X such that X is a composite number within curly brackets. Clearly, A and B do not have any element in common and are disjoint sets. Overlapping set Two sets A and B are said to be overlapping if they contain at least one element in common. For example, A is equal to A, B, C, D within curly brackets. B is equal to A, E, I, O, U within curly brackets. Here A is common in both the sets. So, set A and set B are called overlapping sets.